I've been a trustee at Suffolk University since about 1986. And in all of that time, I have never seen the momentum that we're building right now. What we've seen over the course of the past two years has been incredible. I think this is an exciting time for us. We are on a roll. All of the indicators we've seen over the last 20 months are moving in absolutely the right direction. I can talk about enrollment successes. I can talk about development successes. I can talk about governance successes. We went through a long search and it was a complex process. I'm delighted to announce that the Board of Trustees has elected Marisa Kelly as the next president of Suffolk University. I am so passionate about this institution because Suffolk is a place where the combination of personal attention that we give to our students and the access to real world experience that our location affords is absolutely transformational. One of my favorite parts of this job is that I get to interact with students. And students will come to me when they have concerns about things that are happening at the university, but they also come to me when they're excited about something and they want to just share an experience that they had. When you speak with Marissa about the mission of Suffolk University, she immediately goes so positive and she starts talking about the students. She's always been uh, very interested in hearing my feedback. She's always been uh, very present, uh, very available, very accessible. Uh, we'll always answer a simple email or a phone call. Uh, and at the end of the day, that makes a big difference. What Marisa came into was a very difficult situation. Personally, I was looking for someone that was able to bring stability to the university. I was looking for a leader that was going to get things done without an ego, someone that was going to put the university first. And that's what I think that we've seen with Marisa Kelly. She's quietly confident. Marisa never asks to receive credit for anything she does. She just does the right thing. One time I ran into a woman, she's been here for almost 30 years. And I asked her about the acting president then. I said, what do you think about it? She says, what I like about it is that she actually knows who I am. The fact that she just felt so comfortable talking about Marissa and her leadership skills led me to believe that she was a uniter. And in my opinion, that's exactly what Suffolk needs. Leadership, I think, requires authenticity. And if I've learned one thing in the various administrative positions I've held, that's it. That if you're not authentic, if you don't truly care about what you're doing, if you don't truly care about the, the populations that you're serving, if you don't truly care about the people that you're working with, um, that will come through. In 10 years, there are a lot of things about this institution that will not have changed. We will still be committed to our students and to creating pathways of opportunity. I also believe in 10 years that Suffolk University's name will be synonymous with that kind of transformational educational opportunity, not just in Boston, but across this country and across the globe. I think we're seeing larger alumni participation uh, throughout all facets of the university, uh, both in giving and in um, working with our students. So the mentorship program um, that we've established and that Marisa Kelly has helped support has been a, a really big bonus at the university. If she was able to accomplish what she did in a year and a half, I'm really excited to see what she's going to be able to do down the road. I'm very pleased with uh, the commitment that this university is now making with its uh, international students. It's important that we keep that commitment, giving students the opportunity for global education. Uh, I think she's a terrific person to work with, very student-driven, very passionate. I'm excited because we just appointed a great new leader. She's going to take us to a position that we've never seen before. The enthusiasm within the school, with the students, the faculty, the staff, it's, it's just rising and it's beautiful to see because Suffolk deserves that. You can call it a new day, you can call it a better day. As long as you're very positive about the direction of Suffolk University, we will agree. I think in the last 20 months we have come together as a campus community. 
I think that there is a real sense of renewed excitement about the future, about who we are, about our mission, and excitement about um, where we will be as an institution in a decade.